My mother did not finish high school. My father did finish high school. He was born into a family of teachers. And uh, his sister, uh, my aunt Merle, for whom I'm named, um, was a teacher for years in the public school system there, as was his mother, who decided to uh, stop teaching when I was born so she could take care of me and nurture me. So, uh, you know, on one hand, you had kind of this caste system, those who had graduated uh, from college or who had attended college, and on the other hand, those who had not. Of course, uh, I have to say my mother was a very, very intelligent woman, hard worker, who loved books, um, who loved sports, and uh, that kind of made up for uh, the lack of formal education that she had. My father, uh, on the other hand, could weave a story unlike anyone I've ever known. And you and everyone else who were there when he would talk about these things, you knew he was lying. <laughs> <laughs> you knew he was lying, but Dad could take, just take anything and weave a magnificent story into um, something that was good to remember later on. As a matter of fact, I now have in my possession still um, short stories that he wrote and sent to Post Magazine and others with the rejection letters attached. Wow. So, yeah. So, um, was he known as a storyteller in the community? Yes, or but was uh, the more... community wasn't quite kind enough to say storyteller. I see. <laughs> they, they used uh, uh, another term, but yes, he was well known for that. I see. Mm -hmm. What kind of jobs did your parents have, your mother and your father? Uh, my mother worked as a maid uh, in homes. She worked as a cook in restaurants. She worked as a waitress uh, in restaurants. As a matter of fact, uh, there's a well-known place in Vicksburg known as the Old Southern Tea Room. And the waitresses, all black, had to wear these um, hoop skirts and bandanas on their heads and oh. whatnot. And my mother refused. And these were only wear, black waitresses? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She refused to wear the, the mammy headgear and lost that job. I, I remember that was quite a bit of controversy there. But she decided she wouldn't demean herself by, by doing that. She also sewed beautifully, and um, that's how she made her living. Now, did both of your parents raise you, or your, you said your grandmother was no. really the one who raised no. you? No. So were your parents involved in your life? They were. Um, <clears throat> my father was a truck driver, and I did not see him uh, often. I mentioned that my grandmother um, decided she would cease teaching school and take care of me. Uh, the two families lived across the street from each other. <clears throat> so my grandmother, Annie, said, I will come home and I will take care of this baby. Uh, my mother was quite young. She and my father uh, had married when she was 16. Oh, my. And how old was your father? Um, 26, 27. So he was much older. I told him he robbed the cradle. <laughs>